What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing a Zassian Crown team, courtesy of Chawarzard. Thank you, Chawarzard, for making this team, because uh, I know I can always count on you to put Howl on a team. And <laughs> uh, with Zassian, it's actually really great. Uh, so Gouging Fire has the Protosynthesis with Booster Energy to boost its speed, making it faster than all of these great physical attackers in Zacian, Ogre Pond, and Chen Pao. And it can Howl up, boosting both of their attacks. Uh, and then the Zacian, which gets an attack boost the first time it hits the field too, can go up to plus two and just start wrecking with its huge damage output. Uh, we also have Ogre Pond. I love Ogre Pond plus Gouging Fire because it's like a Fire, Water, Grass core right in there. And then with Zacian, when it becomes the Steel type on the field, with Zacian, Ogre Pond, Gouging Fire, that's a Fire, Water, Grass, Dragon, Fairy, Steel core. Just in three Pokemon, that's crazy. Uh, and then Chen Pao is here to lower their defense even more, so Zacian can do really big damage. Uh, we also have a Landorus here. It's just a good old-fashioned Sheer Force Landorus with Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Sub. It's really important because the first four Pokemon are vulnerable to Intimidate. And the Zacian in particular doesn't even have a move that hits Incineroar super effectively. So Incineroar can be a problem, but Landorus can clear those pretty easily. And then we have Tornadus. Tornadus is just here for speed control. It's the best speed control. Like, if, you, if you're going after your opponent, you're probably losing. Especially with a hyper-offensive team like this, you want to be moving first. That's what I'm learning. Anyways, I'm super excited to play this dog. Uh, Zacian is the sister. She's a girl uh, of Zamazenta, and I loved Zamazenta, so let's get on to these. Alright, we've got Smeargle Muck. <sighs> of course, it's Smeargle Muck. Uh, we have Heat Crash. That always hits through Minimize. We've got Sacred Sword on Chen Pao. That always hits through Minimize. We'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Oh, uh, and they also have a Dusk Main Necrozma, because that's cool. Gouging Fire is also Terra Grass, which is really good. Alright, so I'm, I'm down to go Gouging Fire and Chen Pao, just start boosting with Howls, and then knock things out left and right. I think that's my plan. Obviously, I bring Zacian. It just doesn't have Sacred Sword, so it's not great into Muck. And then finally... I mean... They're gonna be trying to take out... They're gonna try to take out the things that threaten Muck, so I should bring Ogre Pond for that. So I can redirect anything they're trying to do. Ogre Pond, in general, isn't too bad. Resisting Steel... Um, potentially getting a special defense boost, but I might just want to tear a gouging fire just so Smeargle can't spore it, you know? And they do have a trainer card. Not featuring any Pokemon, it looks like. This is a Pokemon game, come on. Tornadus Smeargle? Um. Alright. I'm not sure I get it, but all right. I'm gonna click Breaking Swipe and just protect Chen Pao. Cause I don't know what's coming out here. I genuinely don't know what's about to happen. Uh, it's just a Tailwind. Yeah, that's just what you do. And it's just a Spore. Okay. I, I thought that might be the case, but I didn't want to tear a Grass in front of a Tornadus. And because they move first, we get to burn one turn of sleep anyway. Attack up, speed down. That's cool. I'll go Breaking Swipe and... I don't want to just bring in Zacian, even though it's probably going to get spored. Mm. 
keeping Chen Pao around for the later game, if they do have the minimize buff, would be important. Whereas Zassian can take a few hits here. Rain Dance, probably just so you hit your Bleak Winds, weaken up the Heat Crash maybe. Because you never saw what I went for. Just another Spore. Fine. Zassian, you take a little nap. You take a little nappy poo. Uh, oh, now they get a speed boost. Okay. But no bulk boosts yet. That's good. I'm going to hit them with a breaking swipe, and I'm going to burn a turn of sleep. Yeah. Decorate. Oh. Yikes. <laughs> That's so cool. Decorating their Tornadus. Okay, Tornadus is a threat. Zassian takes a speed drop. You were already faster than me. That's going to be a problem. This miracle gets another attack boost. Special attack drop. Okay, none of that matters. Um. What? Uh, I try to wake in Burning Bulwark, I try to wake in Behemoth Blade. Oh, jeez. Gouging Fire wakes up, at least. We'll have that for one more turn. They're just gonna follow me, though. No, you're going for another Decorate? Okay, hopefully your Greed gets ahead of you, Zassian wakes up and takes out Tornadus. Yeah, we protect there. Hopefully Zassian can eat this. Yeah, thought so. And we do not wake up, though. Okay, well, you need to put Tailwind back up, right? I'm faster. <laughs> Kinda need to tear a grass though, because they'll, they'll they'll go for a spore there. Oh man, Tornetus miracle causing me issues. Why am I getting all these issues? Oh boy. All right, now hopefully this works out. I'm not a hundred percent sure it will, because they could just like follow me here. They just set tailwind. They go for a spore. You're not getting that. Okay. Zassian, wake up. Zassian, it's time for you to wake up. We've got stuff for you to do. No, Zassian, why? Zassian? Zassian, I'm not going to lie. That was really important that you woke up there. But it's the last turn of rain. Bulwark. Because if I protect, next turn they can spore Zassian. But I can quick attack Tornadus. That's not going to KO. Zassian, I needed you to wake up! Girl, why are you sleepy? There you go, now like, mega crit this. Yeah, that didn't do enough. Yeah, yeah. Plus six Tornadus. I get it. That's a problem. I mean, you have Decorate and you have Spore? You have so much speed. I'm gonna go into Ogre Pond because my win condition is you don't connect all the moves you need to connect. I'm going for a Heat Crash, I'm going for an Ivy Cudgel. One of these has to connect and you have to not just double connect Bleak Winds all day. 
I'm getting messed up here. What happened? I played too passive against Smeargle. I probably should have just hit the Smeargle while I had the chance. Yeah, it's just to follow me. I knew you had it. That's why I couldn't just go for the sucker. Oh! Rain Dance. If he crash KOs, which it does, yeah, now we get the Ivy Cudgel. Oh, perfect! A little bit too focused on setting up there. All right, well, the damage may have been done already, but we got through the plus six Tornadus. Finally. Now what do we have to worry about? Fluttermane. That's a little scary. And of course they have Necrozma. They didn't bring Muck at all. Uh, what's the Tailwind situation? Last turn? Psh, that's a double protect from me. Kinda has to be. <laughs> Uh, this could also bait out their Terra. This could also give them a free chance to just... Swords Dance, I guess? But seeing the Terra would be a big deal. Just Fairy Flutter Man, fine. Fairy Flutter is fine. I guess. I'm... I can't even say which one I'm more worried about. Okay, we bait our Protect there. That's good. That's really good. And then a Dazzling Gleam, fine. I prefer to see you go for Dazzling Gleam, because I know Ogre Pond can take that. And we are max speed Chen Pao, which is very good. How much attack do we have on this Ogre Pond? A decent amount. Um, need to take advantage of the rain. I think it's a Howl Ivy Cudgel here. Do as much damage as I can to Necrozma while I can do it. And then... I guess something has to take this Dazzling Gleam plus whatever Necrozma's doing. Oof, Ogre Pond takes way too much from that. If we knock out Necrozma, we can win. But we have to get the knockout here. We got the rain, we got the boost. Ooh, it's not enough. Sunsteel Strike, we can take that, though. Yeah, we take that. That's good. And they have Shell Bell. Okay. Whatever. Alright, I see no reason why they wouldn't just Dazzling Gleam and then attack Chen Pao. and I don't know what I can do about that. What can I do about that? I can't do anything about that. I can Ice Spinner here. Hmm. Yeah, if you're EV'd to live this, or if you're Focus Sash or something, you're not EV'd to live it. Ooh! Oh, that's so good. That was just a Jolly Ice Spinner. That is an unbulked Fluttermane. Oh, and that just saved my butt. Oh my goodness. Thank you for, oh, and a crit. <laughs> just to top it off. Thank you for going 252252 on your Fluttermane. I appreciate you. Oh, Cookie, that was hard. Oh man, good game. Okay, let's see what we can do here. It's a Ho-Oh team. That's actually got a really good matchup into Zacian. Uh, we can't really hit that with any of our main moves. 
Uh, but we have Ogre Pond to hit it, or at least force it to Terra. Uh, they have Incineroar. That's annoying. They also have Torkoal. Uh, Final Gambit, maybe Annihilate? King Gambit. We don't have Intimidate, so I'm not too worried about that. And Sinistra. I love Sinistra. I kind of hope they, they got some sauce cooking with that Sinistra ho -Oh. And if so, I might play a team like that. All right. Um, lots of fire. Zacian should just be scared. I think I'm going to put Zacian in the back because they have Incineroar. We're going to have to do something about Incineroar as soon as possible. They also have potentially Final Gambit Annihilate. Which, unless Gouging Fire is max speed, it's not. It could be faster than anything we have. Uh, so Sucker Punch might be a good thing to lead with. How about a Zacian? Not Zacian. Zacian in the back. Chen Pao lead with Ogre Pond. Well, because Chen Pao... Landorus just does so well. I'm going to lead Landorus. I'm going to put Zacian and Ogre Pond in the back. It seems weird doing Chen Pao Landorus as a lead since only Chen Pao can take advantage of the Sword of Ruin. But I think it's what we need to do. I need the Zacian. Because, like, that's my main damage stick. <laughs> that's cool. Um, Chen Pao, just with the priority, is my only bet against an Annihilate bleed. Which it isn't. Okay. All right, ho -Oh could pretty easily uh, set up like a Tailwind or something, which could be threatening. I think I want to get Chen Pao directly into Ogre Pond. I mean, I guess that's risky. ho -Oh shouldn't feel threatened here. But I want to get Ogre Pond in as soon as I can. and just throw an Earth Power at Incineroar. If we can just get rid of Incineroar, we're in a great position. I think they fake out Landorus here, though. They may even double into Landorus, for all I know. Yeah, it's fake out Lando, and what do you got? Brave Bird, Sacred Fire, Tailwind. Sacred Fire, ooh, into the Ogre Pond slot. And we catch a burn. That's not good. Uh, their Life Orb ho -Oh, good to know. That didn't do that much damage, honestly. What's the speed stat on this Ogre Pond? 140. It's possible for ho -Oh to be faster than us. But they'd have to be pretty significantly invested. So I'm fine to just throw an Ivy Cudgel there. And who's their Earth Power swap in? Sinistra, I guess. Ivy Cudgel here. Earth Power here. Forcing a Terra would be nice. I'm just gonna keep up the keep up what I'm doing. Going for a Zacian endgame, and these are the two things that stop Zacian. So if I can get some good damage onto these, such that Zacian can pick up, we're looking good. And we don't have Sacred Sword. We have uh, Play Rough though. Okay, Ensign's just swapping. Uh, who is this? It is Sinistra. Cool. You get 10% back, because that's all you took. And you just protect the Ho-Oh. Okay, I get it. That's fine, I guess. How much does this do? That's a lot of damage. We could do double that and take that out, but that's, like, not the threat, so I don't want to. Alright, Ogre Pond can't be redirected by Rage Powder. So I feel good Ivy cudgeling ho -Oh, just to get some chip. And then probably Sludge Bomb into that as well. I've seen Terra Grass ho -Oh before. That would catch that. Uh, if they try to swap an Incin to get an Intimidate down, Sludge Bomb would do good damage into that. Do I think they would have King Gambit last? Maybe. They could. And I'm not too worried about what Sinistra's about to do. It could Trick Room, I guess. Would probably be the worst thing. Okay, ho -Oh swapping. Who's taking this double up? Tell me it's not King Gambit. It's Incineroar. I'm cool with hitting the Incineroar. Hitting Incineroar is part of my plan. D 
decent damage from Sludge Bomb. Should be okay damage from Ivy Cudgel. Pretty good, pretty good. And you have a berry? Yes, you do. Okay, so you're about half. That is, in fact, damage. And they set up Trick Room. Okay. I get it. Incineroar has a fake out turn. Ogre Pond will take... I don't know. I don't know if they would go for a fake out here. I kind of want to just click follow me. Well, they're going to Macha Gacha. So Ogre Pond's gone. I will just double protect. Sinistra out. Okay, didn't think of that. And who was the gourmet? Torkoal is the gourmet. Okay, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> Alright, and what did you go for, Insin? Just oh it was fake out. Oh. Fake out into Ogre Pond. You're telling me I could have got a whole Earth Power off there? Man! 3 HP left on the Ogre Pond. Not a great position to be in. Bringing in both of these at the same time might be ideal, actually. So it might be better... Now, if Landorus gets a double protect... We could Sucker Punch try to live in Eruption with Landorus. <clears throat> Landorus goes down, because it doesn't get a double protect. We get both of these in, which I don't think is too bad. I don't see any point in Ogre Pond landing a double protect if it's going to go down anyway. But it could lock Incineroar in if they go for a parting shot. Yeah, so I will go for the double protect with Ogre Pond as well. Oh, they hard swap Incineroar. That makes sense, because they assume uh, Eruption's going to get a double KO. And it should. Uh, <laughs> I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, I'm just going for the double protect on Landorus, because if I get it, I get it. This is a pretty difficult position, honestly, with how many turns they have left in this trick room. Oh, <laughs> we get the Ogre Pond. That's not the one I care about. I was just clicking that one for fun, and we fail the important one. Okay. Landorus, of course, goes down to that. No question. And they have Incineroar left, too? Yeah, this is looking bad. I think Ho-Oh has got me here. <laughs> Um, how could I have done better against Ho-Oh? Oh, it's not clear amulet, so like a breaking swipe from uh, Gouging Fire could have been good against Ho-Oh. Gouging Fire would just be good to have against Torkoal as well, just to resist. How many turns of Trick Room remain? Two turns. I'm going to go with Quick Attack and Sucker Punch. Just to try to weaken that eruption as much as possible. <laughs> I don't think we're going to take it anyway. Well, Zacian can probably take the eruption after the Sucker Punch and Quick Attack chip. However, ho is going to also hit us, and we're not taking that. That was a really good chip, actually. Really good chip. Wow. But Life Orb ho -Oh is definitely going to be able to do half to our Zazzy in here. Oh boy. Maybe they miss. Maybe they went for a weird play. Nope. It's Sacred Fire in the sun. Goodbye, Zazian. Uh, and there's no way Chen Pao can win this. I'm going to forfeit. 
Good game, ho -Oh. Really cool team. Really cool. Like, it's definitely Trick Room. Like, it's like a Trick Room ho -Oh, Which is sick. Lots of fire. Uh, I didn't bring my one fire resist, so maybe that's on me. But, uh, yeah, good game. It's not like Gouging Fire does much against Torkoal anyway. That's just a tough matchup. And you got a good card, so respect. Alright, we've got a Mewtwo matchup here with Psyspam. Uh, they have Tornadus, they have Roaring Moon, they have Basque Legion for some reason, and Fluttermane. What's my play into this? Uh, Chen Pao can resist Psychic. Zacian can resist Psychic. Ogre Pond can boost its special defense. And Tornadus could help me be faster. Because I know Zacian's 148. That would be 200 in the crown form. Same as Max Mewtwo, so I might be faster than Mewtwo. That'd be nice. Yeah, I think I want to go Chen Pao Tornadus, because Chen Pao is faster than Mewtwo. And can get rid of the terrain. Also pretty good into most of what they have. And I'll actually use Tornadus this time. Uh, Zacian for sure. Zacian's good. And I might want Water Pond. I don't see much use for Landorus. Gouging Fire is fast, at least. But Heat Crash and Breaking Swipe and Howl, I don't know if that's what I want. I think I want Water Pond. I really, I, re I feel more comfortable when I have a Water Ogre Pond. Uh, what hits Ogre Pond, though, it would be their Tornadus. Ooh, and they got a picture with Mewtwo. So I kind of want to get rid of their Tornadus. I want to match Tailwinds, get rid of their Tailwind, and then just be faster the rest of the game. But I also don't want to fall into the bait of, like, Rocky Helmet Tornadus and then going down. No, maybe I do. Ice Spinner. I have Rocky Helmet. I don't have Blurb. Okay, I'll just match the Tailwind. I was thinking I should protect and then delay it, but then if they have Taunt and get their Tailwind up, they can Taunt first. Yeah, I knew they would do something about Sucker Punch happening. And it's going Grass, apparently. Okay. You don't take out Chen Pao. That's going to be trouble. Uh, we get our Tailwind first. Because they're not going for Tailwind. They don't have a Tornadus anymore, but were they Rocky Helmet? I think Rocky Helmet comes out before the faint, so no. Cool! I'm very happy with that outcome. We just took speed control from you. And we have a Pokemon that's faster than your whole team. And you probably have Aqua Jet. Can't really do much about that. But Except Sucker Punch, unless you put out Terrain. That's my fear, because you could swap in terrain, which you probably have. You could Aqua Jet. Did I do my math right on the Sassian? Yeah, 200. That is Mewtwo's max speed. One Icy Wind and Ogre Pond will be faster than it, even after Tailwind's over. I'm going to just go Protect... Oh, I have Terra Dark? That's good. Do I want to burn that? I think I do, yeah. Because that'll guarantee Zacian's faster, and that'll guarantee uh, even after Tailwind's over, and that'll make Ogre Pond faster too. Unless they're like Covert Cloak, I guess. Which they could be. Yeah, Terra Dark, let's go. 
Psy spam who? I got two dark types. Alright, icy wind connects on both. Does it get a speed drop on both? Yes, it does. Okay, they're not cloaked, they're not clear amulet. They have aura sphere. <clears throat> Yikes. Okay. That is fine. I think I want to get rid of their terrain more than I want to do anything else. So I will ice spinner toward the Mewtwo. And just start throwing off bleak wind storms. Like, you're going to have to commit an aura sphere over here to take me out. I don't know if you want to do that. No follow me. Maybe they're going for the opposite speed control with a trick room here. Maybe they're clicking Dazzling Gleam. Well, Mewtwo's gone, so I'm happy. <laughs> Sorry, Mewtwo, you did nothing. But you're cool. I, I like uh, your design, and I think you're neat. Yeah, they put up trick room. All of my effort to go fast, and I mean, it worked. I took out most of your team already. Sucker Punch will fail if they go for Follow Me. Tailwind is about to end. I don't see any harm in just protecting. Basket Legion doesn't boost. Indeed, he rarely has anything like that. Kind of want to see what they're going to commit to. Get Trick Room to end a little bit sooner. Because once these two go down, the two in the back also have Protect. Indeed, he has Protect. Oh, interesting. And Tornadus' Protect went first there because of Prankster. Um, yeah, if they're just going to Protect and Wave Crash there, not Aqua Jet, I kind of want to just Sucker Punch. And then if they redirect and take out Chen Pao, Tornadus can get a Bleak Wind in. That'd be great. Okay, they do follow me redirect this time. I don't know why you didn't do that last time. So Sucker Punch fails. Oh well. And then, oh, you're attacking over there now? Yikes. Okay, good game. That was a good play. I mean, the, game, the game's not over, but like... That was a cool play. Keeping yourself in it. I can just redirect with Ogre Pond. Two turns of Trick Room. I'm gonna protect out this one. And battle's just cancelled, finally. Good game. Uh, sorry Zassian didn't really hit the field there. <laughs> okay, a Co-Rhydon team. They've got Fluttermane, pretty normal, Tornadus, Rillaboom, Water Ogre Pond, and presumably Dark Urshifu, but I don't know. They're the kind of guy who uh, brings a Water Ogre Pond on a Sun team. Now, Sun is annoying because Koridon is usually clear amulet, so the breaking swipe doesn't do anything. And they're usually Terra Fire, so the Zassian doesn't really hit it. I think I want to take speed control from them and use Landorus, but if they have their own speed control, they're faster than Landorus. So I don't think speed control is gonna be the way. I think they do have a lot of single target Pokemon. Uh, maybe Gouging Fire is Zassian and Chen Pao. Just go hard. They don't have Intimidate. So just going hard with physical offense could be the way. Uh, Zassian should be faster. It gains, it gains some speed in the other form. I don't know how to do... I don't know how to do the math there. But I, I might be faster. Uh, assuming the Koridon's like adamant, I would be faster. And then... Hmm... Landorus ain't bad. I think I'm gonna bring my own Water Pond just for redirection. Because they have a lot of Pokemon that just use single target moves like Koridon and Rillaboom. So maybe that'll be a good choice. Oh, and they don't have a trainer card. Mmm. 
I'm telling you, this climb this month to Master Ball has been tough. All right. Yeah, they took speed control right away, as I expected they might. I get it. We were, in fact, faster. Our ability went before theirs. They have Tornadus, which is kind of annoying. Okay. I'm gonna just throw a Breaking Swipe and a Protect for now. Just to feel out what they're doing. See if they are, in fact, Clear Amulet. Get a little chip. They're not going for Terra. They're just gonna Tailwind and Flare Blitz right into Zassian's face. Okay. If I can get an attack drop, I feel much better. Oh, I do! Oh, that's so good. Okay, I feel a lot better about this position now. Yeah, there's a Rocky Helmet over on the Tornadus. I think I'm gonna go for a Howl Terra. And Behemoth Blade, maybe? I could see them possibly popping Terra this time. Don't wanna risk a play roughness anyway. But let's see what they got. Okay, no Terra from them. I hope I hope plus two Behemoth Blade can take it. I feel like it should but I don't know my Zassian damage calc super well. And I'm assuming that once they're minus one, I can take a Flare Blitz, but like, plus Bleak Wind is ooh, a lot of damage. That is too much damage, what? Who dodged? Zassian dodge, that's so good. Don't give me a speed drop, please. Oh, come on. Now the blade goes before the howl. But it's enough because of all the recoil they took. That was so much damage. I think I know why they're not clear amulet. <laughs> I think I might know why they weren't holding clear amulet there. Oh my goodness. Those of you who aren't following, that's a choice band, possibly. <coughs> anyway. We got rid of their Restricted, but I'm not feeling like we're in a great position. That's a Fluttermane? Yeah, that's a Fluttermane. Well, we need to stall some Tailwind. This is still winnable. I'm not gonna give up. I don't see anything wrong with protecting both here. And how much does Rocky Helmet do? A sixth? I should do the math to make sure uh, I know. Because I'm thinking about quick attacking, and that would knock out Zassian and make Dazzling Gleam and Bleak Wind single target, which could be bad. I also still have my booster energy. I could swap out and back in. Uh, 179 divided by 6 is 29.8. So Zassian can actually take a Rocky Helmet. And who else do they have? They could have Ogre Pond or Rillaboom. My Ogre Pond doesn't seem that important. Gouging Fire seems way more important than Ogre Pond in the rest of this match. Yeah. So I'm going to give you Ogre Pond, if you want it. If you connect your moves. I don't think Dazzling Gleam would be enough to take it. Good damage, Zacian. That quick attack has been really impressing me. 
Oh, Dazzling Gleam did nothing. You're not Specs, are you? That might be uh, one of those Focus Ash variants. And then single target Bleak Wind, it connects. Goodbye, Ogre Pond. Hailwind is gone. This would be the last turn of Sun. They could put Sun back up. Um, they could just Tailwind here. I don't want to break Chen Pao's Sash. So I'm just going to Ice Spinner. I'll double into Fluttermane. Ah, of course. Of course. I should have seen that coming. Yep, and they get their tailwind that they wanted. Alright, we get to see their item, potentially, because we know they're not choice, because they have protect. But when the sun ends, we'll get to see if they're booster energy. No, we're booster energy, but they're not. Okay. That means they're probably sashed. I think this is just a double protect turn. Get rid of one more turn of their tailwind. This is gonna be a tough ending. We're gonna have to dodge some bleak wind storms to win this game. But that's totally doable. Moonblast right into Gouging Fire. Okay. That is a play. I'm going to Sucker Punch Fluttermane. Heat Crash Tornadus. How much does Sucker Punch do? Ooh, so low. But they're probably Focus Sash. They just go to Dazzling Gleam this time. That's good. Because that gives us... Chance. Because Bleak Wind can miss, right? Oh, it connects with both. Alright, that's all you needed. Good game. Oh, man. Rough. All right, GG. Maybe I should have uh, brought my own speed control. <laughs> okay, we've got a Kyogre Floatzel team. That's cool. Kyogre and Floatzel. Um, their Tailwind user would be Latias. We can beat that. Tornadus is a better. I think we need to set Tailwind in this game. If they're gonna Tailwind and Water Spout, <laughs> we're gonna have to do something about that. Now, Ogre Pond is good. Wow, Ogre Pond's really good. Yeah, they don't have Tornadus, which is the normal thing you see next to Kyogre. So I think Ogre Pond is really solid. In that case, maybe I hold Torn, go Ogre Pond Gouging Fire. Definitely want Zacian. I do want Torn. I just want, like, Gouging Fire so I can, like, start putting boosts on Ogre Pond so Ogre Pond can sweep here. But then if they pull out the, actually, I'm Terra Grass Kyogre, then I'm... Meh. Uh, priority moves are no good because of Sarina. Chen Pao isn't bad just because of Sash. My team in general is just faster, so I do need Tornadus. But I don't feel like I need to put it out right away. Now, if they are Scarf Kyogre, well, if they're Scarf Kyogre, they're, like, scarier right away, but less in the long run. Get a trainer card! So, like, I don't know. 
We'll see. Is it the lead I expect? No, it's Floatzel. Okay. I don't think Floatzel does much to my Ogre Pond, right? I think I, just, I can just Horn Leech it and Burning Bulwark? I don't want to, like, protect to scout out, because I feel like that would just be giving them time to think. I want to Horn Leech right away and Burning Bulwark as they attack my Gouging Fire. Yeah, they're going to do something, but there's no point of defensive Terra on Floatzel, so it's Kyogre. I can hit you with water moves that you're boosting. Thank you. All right, Bulwark. And what you got, Floatzel? Substitute. Oh, interesting. Kyogre is confirmed, not Scarf. And clicked Call Mine. Okay. I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel that, and I'm gonna Terra Grass, and I'm gonna Howl. Because if I Terra Grass, I'm no longer worried about Floatzel. I don't know why I was worried about it in the first place. Mostly because I thought Kyogre was gonna protect, swap, or Terra Grass. But now I just want to hit Kyogre. Ivy Cudgel, Terra Grass. That'll make me vulnerable to Ice next turn, but like... It protects me from the Floatzel, which is what I really want to do. They know I can't Bulwark this turn, so they could just throw a Wave Crash. Which I think is what they would have. I don't really... Like, I know Floatzel. I know what Floatzel can do. I've seen it in older series, but I don't know exactly what their goal is. Because they're just setting subs. Like, whatever. Keep doing that. I don't care. I'll knock you out eventually. I'm not aiming for the Floatzel anymore. Now, does plus one Ivy Cudgel in the rain take Kyogre? I don't think so. But it can crit. That's great damage. And they just go for another Calm Mind? Fantastic. Yeah, leftovers? Fine. You eat your leftovers, Kyogre. See if I care. And now, my Gouging Fire is also at plus one, so I think Breaking Swipe can take Kyogre from there. So I will Horn Leech the Floatzel, and I will click Breaking Swipe. Yeah, because Kyogre's probably going to protect. If Breaking Swipe can break their sub, that'd be great. They do have Wave Crash. Still does a good chunk, honestly. Even though I resist. Oh, and their life or Wow. Yeah, they're not going to have much health left. I think Breaking Swipe would take their stuff. They have no bulk on those things. So you can, you can like, afford to run HP EVs, but, like, it's not getting you anywhere. And Floatzel's down. Okay. This is looking pretty good. All Mines, Terra Poison, Kyogre. Poison is interesting for Kyogre. I guess it's good against, like, Fire Ogre Pond, because, like, they want to throw the grass move at you, but if you go Terra Grass, that doesn't really work. That is... Just in case you don't know, you can go into this menu and see the typing of Pokemon. I've seen people fight, like, Arceus on the casual ladder, and they don't know what type it is. Just go look at it. It'll tell you. I'm thinking Ivy Cudgel, Breaking Swipe. Breaking Swipe will come out first, so if it takes Kyogre, it gets redirected. The Ivy Cudgel gets redirected. And I don't think either of us are in Sucker Punch range, but if they want to go like... If they're like Choice Band Sucker Punch, maybe. Oh, and hitting Latias? That's great. That 
That didn't do very much damage to Latias. Why did those take the same amount of damage? It's super effective on one of you. Hurt by Rocky Helmet. It doesn't say who's Rocky Helmet, though. I mean, we can assume. All right. Good game, Gouging Fire. You did great, honestly. Let's see how much this Ivy Cudgel will do. Important to note is that they're faster than Ogre Pond. The fact that they're faster than Ogre Pond is annoying, but like... We can go Tornadus. In fact, because the rain's up. How fast is our Tornadus? No, not fast. Okay. Because they could protect Urshifu here, which would be annoying. Last turn of rain. I need to Tailwind. And then I just need to pick a target for Ivy Cudgel. Um, denying their Tailwind isn't bad. Yeah, I'm going to deny their Tailwind. I think Urshifu might protect. Yes, it did. Great. But even if it didn't, losing one of these is, like, okay. Because we, we take the speed control, and then Zacian can clean up. Zacian. 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 Zacian? Boom, 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 boom. No. Tell me in the comments how you pronounce Zacian's name. I, I want to know. I want to know how you specifically pronounce it. Not the correct way. What do you call the dog? And then it's just an Ivy Cudgel here, and a Bleak Wind all over there, and they cancel the battle? I mean, you could always crit a Sucker Punch. No, no point in quitting yet. Crit a Sucker Punch. You take out Tornadus. Oh, that wouldn't have done anything. We're too bulky. Okay, but let's say that KOs. If you crit that and get a Super Ultra Mega crit, Tornadus goes down. Ivy Cudgel gets blocked on the Kyogre. Now you still have two Pokemon. Uh, I don't see how you beat Zacian ever. But you're not completely out of it. Yeah, no, that game is over, though. Behemoth Blade takes Kyogre. Behemoth Blade takes Urshifu. <laughs> I'm going to get Zacian on the field. So I'm just going to Ivy Cudgel to finish this game, and then I'm going to put Zacian on the field. And then when Zacian comes onto the field, ah! Zacian never came onto the field. Good game, opponent. Alright, we're back. Uh, Zacian didn't hit the field as much as I was aiming for, uh, but I think the team worked pretty well. I think Zacian is super cool. Uh, I would like to see more comps with it. I'm definitely going to be playing this Pokemon again. It's such a good dog. It used to be one of the best, and it's fallen quite a bit. In fact, Zamazenta is the better dog now. But this one can definitely still work. Fairy Steel typing is amazing. Thank you so much, Twarzard, for making this team. I had fun. I hope y'all had fun. I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.